Welcome to Dropping In, a podcast of storytelling and interviews with your host, Winter Olympian Mercedes Nickel. Thanks so much for dropping in today. I am here to introduce Series 7. I will be chatting with a bunch of Canadian Paralympians. And I thought, who better to have on than the executive director of the Whistler Adaptive Program in Whistler? So I'm bringing in Chelsea Walker to give us an update as to how athletes can get engaged if they need to. Chelsea, how are you? Good, Mercedes. Thank you so much for having me on today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. I think this is a perfect way to intro the series where I'll be chatting to Canada's Paralympians. So can you give a little bit of background on the program that you run in Whistler? For sure. So we're a local multi-sport organization, which is a fancy way to say that we do lots of different sports. Um, we run 18 different sports programs in Whistler, Squamish, and Pemberton, and we're pan-disability. So it doesn't really matter what your profile is or what your adaptation is. You can come and find a sport that's right for you. So awesome. And I know you've had some athletes that I will be speaking to come up through the ranks to become Paralympians. Is that like just so heartwarming for you? Oh, 100%. <laughs> you know, I know you'll be speaking with my good friend, Ethan Hess. And I remember the very first day Ethan sat down in a Nordic sit ski and I coached him. And to be able to go from like the first coaching moment as a community coach and to watch him go all the way through the ranks and to be competing alongside Brian McKeever. I mean, like, Dream come true. So cool. Can you just quickly touch on some of the sports that are offered um, that maybe people might not understand or realize? For sure. So a lot of people think of Whistler, they think about alpine ski and snowboard, but they don't realize you can cross country ski. We swim here. We do lots of paddle sports because we have all these awesome lakes. So that's like canoe, kayak, row. Uh, we even have Martin 16, so you can sail. Um, wow. We love to go hiking. We have uh, mountain bikes, both two wheel and three wheel. So, you know, something for everybody. Um, and if you're just in for some Zen, we also do lots of yoga and physical literacy programming too. And how would someone get involved if they're looking to um, venture into more sports? Well, they would just come onto our website and shoot us a line. And uh, we really like try to create what's called an individualized uh, sport plan for the person, um, mm -hmm. similar to, you know, just so we can really get to the core as to how and what and why they're wanting to connect with sport. And at the end of the day, we're really about physical literacy. So how do we develop as many different fundamental movement patterns through sport that will carry you right through life? So cool. So that's whistleradaptive.com. Definitely head over there if you know anyone that wants to get into sport that might have um, a disability and get them out there. It's so exciting. I know I've seen um, some of the adaptive skiers out there. I've had a couple of friends that um, have been paralyzed and have, have taken to that. And also seeing the cross-country skiing. I do want to touch on like there are people to, that are help that help you through that. You you said you taught Ethan Hess um, how to ski and stuff like that. So can you just touch on the volunteers that help out? For sure. So we have a whole complement of both paid coaches, professional paid coaches and volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have over 70 now here in Whistler, which is just wow. uh, amazing. And um, we're really here to create um, those fundamental movements and in getting into the sport and then allowing the sport to develop. So, um, you know, whether you're coming for a week and you're trying a whole bunch of different sports or whether you've chosen your sport and you just want additional support, we have coaches and trained volunteers here to help you out. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Anything else that you would like to add about WASP, Whistler, Whistler Adaptive? Um, don't forget, we also work not just in the Paralympic movement, but also the Special Olympic movement, as yeah. well as the Invictus movement. So we're very excited for 2025 and having the Invictus Games come to Whistler. It's so great. We've got a lot of things happening in Whistler again, and it's so great to see everyone coming out. Chelsea, thank you so much for your time today. And uh, everyone, stay tuned to Series 7, where I chat with Team Canada's Paralympians. Thanks so much for dropping in today. You can find everything you want to know about dropping in with Mercedes at droppinginwithmercedes.com. Don't forget to subscribe on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. Thanks, DJ Kenosis, for the music and my mom for the intro voice.